So I've really been enjoying my Steam Deck the last couple months, but when I'm at home, most often I'm not actually playing native games on the Steam Deck, I'm actually streaming them directly from my Xbox console. Now one of the best parts about this feature is that it allows you to play games directly off of your local Xbox console. So your console's doing all the work, the Steam Deck doesn't have to do anything really, it's just streaming that over the network, which is awesome. But the other big benefit is that the latency is a lot lower than doing things like the Xbox Cloud. One of the things I noticed when using the Xbox Cloud, especially when playing games like Forza and Mortal Kombat, is that the lag, although it is constantly improving, I'll have to say, since last year to now, uh, when I was retesting it, the latency was way, way less now than it was last year. Much less noticeable, but still noticeable. But when using the remote play, it is almost non-existent, which is incredible. Now let's talk a little bit more about the client itself a little bit. We're using something called Greenlight or Xbox xCloud client. Um, and what it is, is it is a, an interface that kind of emulates what you would get on your desktop PC. Um, and it emulates that to be able to be used on the Steam Deck. Now, this is a big thing because unfortunately, the workaround for using the xCloud on the Steam Deck, which is an official way from Microsoft, which is, you know, putting Edge on your Steam Deck, adding that as a non-Steam game, um, and then doing everything through there, unfortunately doesn't support remote play to your console that's in your house so this is the way to do it and i honestly use this for both remote play and the xcloud now the unfortunate thing is that it hasn't been updated in a long time it hasn't been updated since november 4th 2022 it is now february 2023 so it has been a while but luckily it is still working on my steam deck with no major issues and the reason I say major issues is there are still a few little things that I have to work around when using it. For example, when I launch it from my Steam Deck, I have to press play, nothing ends up popping up, and then I have to press my Steam button, go up to the uh, open apps, and then green light will be there, and then I can resume game and do what I need to. But other than that, even using this for the xCloud, um, you know, cloud gaming, it is a much better experience than using the Edge workaround that Microsoft gave. I honestly think this works a lot better. It's a lot smoother. It's a lot easier to navigate. Um, it just runs a little bit nicer with, that I've noticed. And the nice thing is using Greenlight, and if you go ahead and use Steam Grid, and you grab some of the images from here and set it up on your Steam Deck, you can make it just look like it's a native app, which is totally awesome, and I really enjoy that. So luckily getting Greenshot installed is actually pretty easy. Uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab the app image launcher uh, from GitHub. I will leave links to both of these down in the description below. You're gonna go ahead and grab the x86-64 app image. Go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded it, so it's gonna add another one. And then you're also gonna grab the app image here. I'm gonna grab the 2.0 beta one. It's the most recent, even though it's from November. Um, and you're going to go ahead and grab that image, app image as well. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up your downloads. You're going to right click on the app image launcher app image. You're going to go to properties, permissions, and you're going to make it is executable. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up your console. Um, if you're not comfortable with the console, don't worry. You're not really going to be doing much here. You're just going to go ahead and drag this now onto the console. And then you're going to type install and it will install. Mine's going to say it's already been installed but you should get something here that'll say install installation is complete. And with that, you should now notice a new folder in your home that is called applications. Now I've already got a couple things installed here, but what you're gonna do now is you would grab your green light app image and you would go ahead and copy that into this folder. Um, as you can see, I have it here. Once you do that, uh, if you give it like maybe a minute or so, you should be able to go to all applications, scroll down to G and you'll be able to see green light. Once you have green light here, that means you are good to go. So getting this added in Steam is also very easy. So once you go ahead and launch Steam, just go ahead and go to games, go to add non-Steam game to my library. You're gonna scroll down to G and you're gonna go ahead and add green light to, uh, you're gonna select it and then do add selected programs. I've already done that. So once you do, you will then see it appear over on your side. I have it added to my favorites, um, but if you search for it, you'll be able to find it. 
and I've already added images to this, but if you want to, you can right click on it in here and you can add the custom artwork, which was this panel. And then if you actually click on it, you'll be able to add a custom background. And then one major thing you're gonna to wanna to do before going into game mode is you're gonna to wanna to right click. You're gonna to wanna to go to properties. Here, you can also do your icon, but you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add the full screen tag, which is dash dash full screen. And you can go ahead and edit the name here as well. Now, if we hop into game mode, you're gonna to have to do one more thing, which is changing the controller layout. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you get into your gaming mode, you can go all the way over to the non-Steam, and then you can go down and we'll see my green shot here. If you've added the images, you'll see the image. If not, it'll just say uh, green, green light. You're gonna go ahead and open that up and launch that. So the important thing now is we're gonna go ahead and click our Steam button. We're gonna to go to controller settings and we're gonna go ahead and add the Xbox button. Now, if you don't care about the Xbox button, then you don't have to do this step. But if you do wanna be able to leave games while either doing remote play or cloud, you're gonna want this. So I have mapped mine to my trackpad. So if you go down to trackpads, I have mapped it to the left click and green light maps the xbox or nexus button as they call it to the n key so whatever you want to use as your xbox button you're going to want to make it the n key and that's what will launch the xbox button now if we go back to the app real quick you can see here so i have my xbox so i can start streaming directly from there or if you want you can go ahead and go to the cloud library And this will go ahead and populate with all of the games that you have access to from xCloud to stream from. So whichever way you want to do it is can be launched through here. You can start your stream super easy. And like I said, I use this thing all the time. So this first video here is just showing how low latency there is between the Steam Deck and the actual console playing on my TV. And you can see that it's almost indistinguishable um, the inputs between the two. The uh, visual aspect from the displays, you can almost not tell any difference. And I have actually tried playing my games while playing with the Steam Deck as a controller, um, but actually playing it on the TV and seeing how much I would end up noticing that latency. And honestly, it was still better than the xCloud. And here is an example of me using the xCloud. Now, again, as I mentioned, the latency has significantly improved over the last year. I think they're doing a really good job improving this constantly, but it is still personally a little bit more noticeable, especially when you're playing a more fast-paced game like Mortal Kombat or a racing game like Forza, um, but it is still good. It's just not as good as doing remote play. So I always prefer doing remote play while I can, um, I will install the games onto my Xbox and I don't even have a new Xbox. I have an Xbox One X, so it's not even the current generation, but it does everything really, really well. I can install most of the games on it without any issues and then I can remote play anywhere in my house. But the latency was the biggest reason I tried this. Uh, I tried green light in the first place. And once I did that, I basically just immediately uninstalled the edge version of xCloud and I just entirely do everything through there. Now the only downside is that the remote play only really works while you're at home. So I do enjoy it while I'm just kind of chilling on the couch or while I'm up in my room, uh, lay down on my bed, play a few games, uh, play a little bit of Mortal Kombat or something, play some, uh, you know, gears, tactics, anything like that. But while I'm out, I cannot use remote play to my console. And unfortunately, a lot of internet that I get while I'm on trips for work, for example, you know, the hotel Wi-Fi isn't very good. So the latency for the cloud gaming is really, really bad and super noticeable. Honestly, when I'm traveling, I most often play emulators on my Steam Deck, uh, most often Nintendo emulators. So that's usually my travel thing. But while I'm at home, I really do enjoy using both the xCloud and remote play, but anything I can do on xCloud, 
um, I can just install it on my Xbox and then remote play it and then I have that reduced latency. This is really big, especially if you have the Game Pass. Um, the Game Pass gives you access to an insane amount of games and now I can play all of those on my Steam Deck anywhere in my house, no matter what I'm doing or where I am. I could be pooping, playing whatever game I want. I can be laying down on the couch, playing a game. I can be in the backyard, enjoying the sun in the summertime, but you know, I really don't want to do anything. I'm kind of lazy. I could play games out there. Um, so matching this with the Game Pass is such a perfect little mix. But yeah, I've really been enjoying it and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thought Slime and Step Back, and thank you for watching this video. If you want to see my initial impressions of the Steam Deck, you can go ahead and check out this video right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.